Hi guys, okay, so today we are going to make the little animal yeah hats. Um a lot of people are wearing them as part of the like the pussycat hats or mine's gonna be more like a fox hat, I think, because um my friend Cara gave me some of this really nice chunky sort of burnt orange colour yarn. So I'm gonna use that to work with. Um as well as your yarn, um I would go for either chunky or a double strand of either DK worsted. You will want a pen and some paper to keep track of your rows. You will want a pair of scissors. You will want your darning needle and you will want your knitting hook. And you will want your second size, well, sort of third size up, second size down, um, knitting, round knitting loom. I'm just going to double check what the peg count is on this one because I didn't actually check. Two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. So we've got a 36 peg loom. Um, yeah, I thought it was 36. Cool. Okay, so that's what you need. Okay, guys, to start with, you just want to take your yarn whoop, and pop in the sort of standard little slip knot. There we go. Now we're going to use a stitch on this one that I've never done on any of my other projects before. So it's a new one. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a rib stitch. So I'm going to take you through this step by step. It's really easy on the round looms. It's easy on any sort of size loom to be honest. But if you're working on a round loom with an even number of stitches, which is this is because it's a 36 peg loom. Um, it, it, it's super easy um, if you do them in pairs, which is how, how I'm going to show you to do them. So what you do is you go to your first one. And what we're going to do first of all is just get an A-wrap base on all the way around. Just to make things nice and easy. And we are working in the round for this hat, so... Rather than the flat, the last couple of projects have been working in the flat, haven't they? Rather than in the round. I know it's tempting to push all your stitches to the very bottom of the pegs, but you actually want them somewhere in the middle for this. Will make life a little bit easier, and you will see why in just a second. Okay, so there we go. So we now have a little e-wrap on every peg. Now, to do our rib stitch, what we're going to do is we're going to e-wrap one and then we're just going to hold down the yarn in front of the peg next to it. And we do a standard knit stitch on the first one. There we go. Now on the next one, what you're going to do is put your needle down the back, down the back under the yarn. I'm just trying to get this to focus a little bit. There you go. And then you're going to scoop up that yarn that you've got held in front of it and pull it up and through. Then we're going to lift, just lift off the base stitch and you're going to flick that top loop you've made back on. Okay, do that again. So going on to a next pair, we're going to A-wrap one and hold that yarn down over the front of the one next to it. So this one is just knitted off as normal. And this one we go down the back of the stitch, hook it round, pull it up and through, then lift it off and back over and we just pull it tight, yeah? And you're going to go around, and that's all you do, all the way around. Just keep repeating that. And this is your your first row. And all I want you to do is I want you to do 10 rows like this, okay? So you go and do 10 rows. Just like this, all the way around. And then I will meet you back here 
when you've got those 10 rows done, okay? Hi guys. Okay, so I've done my 10 rows of rib stitch and if I flip this over, you can see the pattern you get there and it goes really elastic, which is why this looks like it's, it's shrinking in towards the middle. So that's absolutely fine that it looks like that. Now all you need to do, and this is quite an easy pattern because all we do now, is I'm just going to push this down to the bottom because we're not doing rib stitches anymore. We're going back to our old favourite, very simple, A-wraps. So now all, you, all you're going to do is you're going to switch from doing those rib stitches to just A-wrapping. I know on the little looms I normally go all the way around before knitting off, but on this one... I won't because it's obviously it's a much bigger loom so it's easier to do it as you go and I'm just going to keep a wrapping in the round like this for th another 30 rows so you've done 10 you're going to do another 30 in plain a wrap to take you up to a total of 40 rows when you've done them both together so 10 rib stitch 30 a wrap total of 40 rows okay so i'm just going to let you carry on a wrapping and knitting those 30 rows and when you've done those i will see you back here to finish off the project okay guys so i finished my extra 30 rows and now i have a total of 40 this will look quite long you may go that looks quite long for a hat um, when we take it off, it's going to stretch quite a lot sort of across um, and it will work. So that's why it may look a little long. It just needs stretching out. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to cut our yarn, but we want to leave quite a long tail on this because we have all of the making up to do on it. I'm going to go about two and a half times round, maybe it's even three. Okay, cool. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my darning needle, wherever that may be. Oh, I got it. I got it. Take the whole bit of yarn out. Pull this quite far through because I'm working with a lot of yarn here. Now, usual cast off method that I use. Um, if you want to use a different one, go for it. But please use quite a stretchy one for this. Um, just it'll make the making up a lot easier. So we're just going to go to our first peg down through. And pull that yarn through. There we go. Bring it back and the same through the next one. Just down and through. And just keep going. Until. Down through. And just keep working. Around. I like to keep my yarn behind. It doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Keep going all the way around like this. Until you get to the end peg and you've done that last one okay okay i've now gone down and through all of the the stitches and i'm back to the i've just done the last one so i'm back to the first one now i haven't tied this in a knot or anything it's just been pushed through um i'm just going to leave that end hanging there and then we're just going to take this off off of the loom okay So literally just flicking the stitches down and off.
Almost there. Okay, so that is our project now off of the loom. Okay, cool. Now, I want you to flip this inside out because obviously for making up a project, it's easier to work from the wrong side. Now, I just want you to stretch this out a little. So just give it a bit of a pull and a bit of a stretch just to get it in shape. Cool. Now, the first thing that I want you to do here is take your working length of yarn. You should still have some on it, yeah. Cool. And then all I want you to do is stitch this up. So literally just putting in a row of stitches along the top there. I'm just bringing this project together. You want to keep it quite flat. I'm doing this quite quick because I'm doing it for a tutorial, but obviously, you know, you can take good amount of time over this make sure it's nice and neat um yeah just going along the top edge there okay so you just continue along right to the other end and i'll meet you back here okay so i have now stitched this all the way along and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch again to about here. Okay, so I'm just going to bring this stitch back. Run it a little bit. Maybe another two. Yeah, let's go through to there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this e this corner. And I'm just going to fold it in. So you like, you took it down. So you, you have the bit that you're, so it's really hard to explain really. So you have the bit that you stitch to is like a corner point and then you take this down, okay? So you have like an angle on the corner and then you take your yarn and you're going to stitch this together. So you, you hold that corner closed and you just go along picking it up through each side now don't worry if you don't get all the stitches really well the first time because what you're actually going to do is you're going to stitch down all the way down and then you're going to stitch all the way back up so you come back up to this corner okay so I'm going to let you do that and then I will meet you back up at this corner okay Okay, so we've now done that and we're back to here. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to fold down this corner in exactly the same way and then we're going to stitch along the top again, go over that again, down and back up. Okay, so exactly the same as the other side, down and back up, okay? Um, I won't show you how to do it again because I've just showed you, but literally exactly the same on the other side long down up um and then i will meet you back here i may need to add some more yarn on as well don't worry if you do this it happens just tie another bit of yarn on it'll be fine okay okay so now what we have is this kind of shape yeah 
and I've just tied that off and, and cut it there. Now the only thing we have left to do here really is to sort out our cast on. So I am just going to take this and tie a little knot in there. Now, because this is a brim, it's going to fold in. Okay, what we actually want to do is have the stitch on the other side, if you like. So, if you flip your whole project the right way, because this is a fold-up brim, what is normally the right side is actually the wrong side, if that makes sense. Follow me. So, when you wear the hat, which you can see looks really funky here, couple of loose threads that might just need tucking in. You can just use your hook to work those in. There you go. It happens sometimes. There we go. Cool. Um, yeah, so because you're wearing your hat like this with a rolled up brim, what we want to do is this stitch needs to go in what would no, sort of run down, what would normally be the right side. Okay. So we're just going to flip it back down here for a second and then we're going to just put a small knot in here. This is very fluffy wool. So we'll just pop a small knot in. Yep. Ah, oh, get in. And then we are going to just run our way on down. before neatly snipping it off Bink. and then this flips up so it has a brim and you have your ears and you have your hat and that is how you make little animal ear hats I quite like this I have I would quite like to wear this myself but I have a feeling it will be stolen by my daughter but sorry funky okay thanks for watching have fun knitting bye